tested, the 2023 Lamborghini Urus Performante lives up to its name. This brutal, track-optimized, high-performance Lumbo SUV was definitely built for someone, but we don't know who that person is. To give each other an edge in the SUV arms race, manufacturers are now launching performance variants of their already powerful vehicles. As an example, consider the 2023 Lamborghini Urus lineup. Some people thought the 641 horsepower the Urus produced last year wasn't enough, so they raised the standard to 657 horsepower and named the new model Urus S. In addition to the Urus S, the Urus Performante with the same performance was also developed. Engine power is the same as the S, but durability is significantly improved thanks to a lighter construction and sportier suspension and tires. If it is available at that time, select ULSS to compete with Porsche Cayenne Netbo GT and Aston Martin DBX 707. Aspect to the torque roll, the rear dialogical vector, and the rear wheel steering system. The Lumbo is based on the same platform as the Cayenne, but with a 4.3 inch longer wheelbase that could compete with the Porsche. It shares the same suspension geometry, 8-speed automatic transmission, and 4.0-liter twin-turbocharged V8 engine as the Porsche, but its power is increased to 657 horsepower. But its starting price of $233,995 puts it on par with Aston Martin, which lost out to Porsche due to Porsche's lower prices. Our sociable Viper Green Performante exists in a different dimension from our SS. In summary, instead of using height-adjustable air springs, coil springs are used. Performance consistent sag means he is 0.8 inches lower than the normal height of the Urus S, which corresponds to the lowest aerodynamic position the S achieves at high speeds, completely ignoring ground clearance. Is showing. The Performante lacks the three off-road modes, Neve for slippery work, Terra for basic off-roading and Sabia for sand, on its so-called Anima Drive selection. Rallying has replaced them and is now the most extreme form of driving, ahead of even the Strata, Street, Sport and Corsa, Track. As soon as the emphasis was set, the chassis was optimized for fast driving. Corsa training mode has sufficient teeth for hard descending springs, and the height is decreasing, so machines can avoid contact with the bulge. A center differential positioned further back than in a regular Urus works with a retuned active anti-roll bar and torque vectoring rear differential to improve handling. The Porsche Turbo GT's Pirelli Corsus has a wear rating of 80, while the Pirelli P0 Trofeo are sub-competitive performance too has a wear rating of 60. The Performante responds well to heavy throttle demands, but is not a complete destroyer. Although we evaluated the faster and more agile Cayenne Turbo GT, we will use that car as the basis for our analysis. Performante reduces sprints by 20 seconds to 100 miles per hour for slash 10 THS of a sprint to 130, 1 slash 2 slash 10 TH of a sprint from 5 to 60, 30 to 50, 50 to 70. However, the performance 0 to 60 miles per hour time of 3.0 seconds is a tenth slower than the Cayenne, and while the distance between the two cars is 11.2 seconds, the performance top speed is 2 miles per hour higher. For what? Both cars have the same gear ratios, but Lumbo's differential has a slightly looser gear set and his tires are 1 inch larger. As a result, the effective transmission is higher, and its emission points are simply classified into various positions. Porsche can control only 1.03 GS in a single orbit around the skid pad, but efficient ones can reach 1.04 GS while holding a modest rack. Even on mountain roads this represents a significant danger. On the one hand, it turns willingly and precisely when Preston responds beautifully to acceleration. We took him up his favorite steep, winding slopes and he didn't even flinch. The carbon ceramic brakes performed perfectly on repeated and difficult descents, with only the occasional excited squeal. On the track, its stopping distance of 152 feet from 70 miles per hour was only slightly better than the Porsche's, 
but its stopping distance of 296 feet from 100 miles per hour was much shorter than that of the turbo GTs. 16 feet. Efficient melodies can be more optimized by Corsa than we want, which helps the road smooth. If we aggressively circulate along the old mountain path we know, the sort of the car will be reduced, the most sweet meal can adjust the shock absorbers, it is naturally drawn, the suspension is suspended. It seems useless because it is not allowed. I breathe. This can be a big problem in urban areas where weather and large vehicles have a big impact on the roads. The active anti-roll bars don't seem to isolate as well as the Cayennes in terms of preventing head tilt as they feel restrained by the heavy suspension. Here we are reminded that this is an SUV. That means wealthy families have expensive child seats installed somewhere in the back. Do you know whip butter? This is the effect of a glass of milk. The interior may seem exaggerated at first glance, but it gradually becomes more attractive and makes the trip more interesting. Many performance composition options contain attractive and integrated carbon fiber decoration, and the central battery with two screens is logical, despite the modest size of the top and entertainment information panels. It worked. Despite the fact that I had never seen such a lever for a change before, thanks to their intuitive design, an unusual choice of the twin animation drive system quickly gained us. The red pane above the start button is unnecessary, and using the paddles on the steering wheel to select a drive is weird, but the game is still fun. None of this is intolerable in a Camry, but it's to be expected in a Lumbo environment where luxury is the norm. You have already guessed that the efficient is not cheap. Its starting price of $265,971 is $35,000 more than that of an Urus S, and the superb $338,770 that we paid for our test vehicle was the result of about $75,000 in extras, most of which were cosmetic. There was an additional $18,941 for the Viper green paint job and more than $33,000 for gloss black and carbon fiber interior and exterior accessories. While it matches the Porsche Cayenne Turbo GT's fuel efficiency rating of 16 miles per gallon combined, 14 city slash 19 highway, the performance starting price includes a $1,300 gas guzzler tax including the Cayenne does not suffer. The reason is that the Cayenne is technically a truck, while the Lumbo is technically a station wagon, passenger car. Lamborghini expects half of Urus buyers to choose the Performante over the equally powerful and perhaps more refined Urus S, but it's hard to decide who the Performante is for. It's still difficult. The Performante is not the most comfortable choice for families due to its track-focused tuning and equipment. Lamborghini enthusiasts usually don't care about such details, but this isn't a scissor door supercar designed for single, childless people. On the other hand, a Lumbo is a must-have for Lumbo fans, and despite the usual four swinging doors, it feels like it belongs in the same family. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.